welcome. This practice is for those days when you just need to move your body, when you need to flow. We're gonna move through a full body practice, no props. Let's start in a passive forward fold at the top of the mat. So go ahead and separate your feet about hip width distance apart. Let your upper body hang down on top of your legs. Bring a little bend into your knees. Take an inhale through your nose and an exhale through your mouth. And then start to straighten out your left leg and bend deeper into your right knee. And then switch. Almost like we walk out our down dog. Let's walk out this passive forward fold. You can arrange your hands so that you feel a little bit more stable. Feel the hips swaying side to side as one hip lifts and the other hip drops. And then come back towards sort of a neutral position with a little bend in both knees and roll yourself up towards standing. Come up vertebra by vertebra. A little spinal roll. And then circle your arms out wide, reach them up towards the sky, interlace your hands with your right thumb forward of your left. Pull your knuckles up to the sky, breathe in. Side bend to the right as you breathe out. Hold here, take an inhale. Take an exhale. Back to the center, breathe in. Over to the left as you breathe out. Both feet rooted, pull your right hand further to the left. Come back to the center, inhale, release the interlaced hands, open your arms wide, send them back behind you, interlace them back behind you again with right thumb forward of the left, pull your knuckles back, lift your heart up, inhale, and then fold all the way back down as you exhale. Little bend in the knees will probably help to get your interlaced hands higher up towards the sky, maybe a little bit further overhead. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. And then again, let's bend one knee and bend the other knee so that our interlaced hands sway from side to side. And then come back to bent knees, bring your interlaced hands down towards your low back and then release the hands towards your feet. Lengthen out your spine, take an inhale. Fold, bring your hands down, step your left foot back behind you, low lunge. Drop your left knee down, reach your arms up towards the sky, take an inhale. As you exhale, half split, straighten out your right leg, bring your fingertips down towards the floor. Maybe a little bend in your right knee, take another cycle of breath here. And then re-bend into the front right knee. Lift your left knee up. Bring the right hand to the inside of the right foot. Spin all 10 toes over towards the left and then bend your back left knee. Side lunge, lateral lunge. Take an inhale. Take an exhale. And then straighten out your left leg. Bring your hands right in between your feet, maybe a little bit further forward. Let's cycle through cat-cow. Lift your tailbone and your chest. Inhale. And then as you exhale, round your back. Tuck your tailbone under and separate your shoulder blades apart. Two more times like that. Lift your tailbone and your chest. Inhale. And then round as you exhale. One more time. Breathe in. Breathe out. Back to a neutral spine, bend your right knee. Lateral lunge towards the front of the mat. Inhale, exhale. Stay low, spin all 10 toes back up to face the top. Plant the left hand down and circle the right arm up towards the sky, twisting open towards the right. Breathe in and breathe out. From here, wild pose. If you want to modify, you're going to drop your left knee down, kickstand your left shin, pick your right foot up and step it back behind you. You could also do this by rolling to the outer edge of the left foot and stepping the right foot back as well. Wherever you are, open your arms wide away from one another. Take your knees wide, tuck your tailbone under. One more cycle of breath. And then take the right arm overhead, bring it down, plank, right foot steps back beside the left. Take an inhale and plank. As you exhale, lower all the way down. 
Point your toes, gecko your arms. So your fingertips are gonna come off to the sides. Elbows point up, head down. Anchor your pubic bone down into the mat and then push into your fingers and start to roll yourself up into this little finger stand cobra. The head's the last to arrive. And then roll yourself back down. Again, inhale, back of the heart leads the way. Roll yourself up, inhale. Come down as you exhale. One more time, inhale. Riding the breath, exhale, lower down. Slide your hands underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes, push yourself up to plank, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Walk it out, bend one knee, bend the other knee, sway your hips from side to side. Maybe take an inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. And then come to a neutral down dog, lift your right leg up to the sky, inhale. Bend your right knee and open through your hip as you exhale. Straighten out your right leg, square through your hips, breathe in. Bring your right knee to your right elbow as you breathe out. Try to shift weight forward into your hands. Inhale, three-legged down dog, send the right leg up. Exhale, right knee to left elbow, cross it under. Back and up, inhale. Right foot steps in between your thumbs, exhale. Standing split, send your left leg up to the sky. Let your head drop down, inhale here. As you exhale, left foot comes down about hip width distance from the right. Lengthen your spine, inhale. Passive forward fold as you exhale, a little bend in the knees. Let the upper body once again hang down on top of the legs. Take an inhale through the nose and an exhale through the mouth. And then start to walk out your passive forward fold, bending one knee, the other knee. Maybe you bring your hands or your fingertips onto the floor. Keep the head hanging heavy, sway the hips from side to side. And then bring a little bend in both your knees and roll yourself up towards standing vertebra by vertebra. Circle the arms out wide, reach them up towards the sky, interlace your hands, left thumb in front of the right this time. Pull your knuckles up, inhale, side stretch to the left as you exhale. Breathe in. And out. Back to the center, inhale, over to the right as you exhale. Pull your left hand further to the right. Back to the center, inhale. Open the arms wide, reach them back behind you, interlace them again, left thumb forward of the right, and then pull your knuckles back and lift your chest up, inhale. Fold forward and down as you exhale. Bring a little bend into your knees. See if you can get your interlaced hands a little higher up to the sky and then further overhead. And then again, bend one knee, bend the other knee. Let the sway of the hips rock your interlaced hands from side to side. Back to the center, bring the interlaced hands down towards your low back, and then release the hands down towards your feet. Halfway lift, inhale, lengthen your spine. Fold, bring your hands down, step your right foot back behind you for low lunge. Drop your right knee down, reach your arms up towards the sky, hips forward, inhale. Half splits as you exhale, straighten out your left leg, maybe slide it further forward. Bring your fingertips down towards the floor. You could also use blocks if you want. Take another cycle of breath in and out. And then re-bend into your left knee, lift your right knee up, bring your left hand to the inside of your left foot, and then walk over to the long edge of the mat, turn your toes to the right, straighten out your legs, and then bend into the back right knee, creating a little lateral lunge, length through the spine, take an inhale, full exhale, and then straighten out your right leg, hands towards the center, three rounds of cat-cow, lift your tailbone and your chest, breathe in, 
Round your back as you breathe out. Inhale, lift the tailbone and the chest. Round on the exhale. One more like that. Neutralize your spine and then bend your front left knee. Walk your hands so they stand underneath your shoulders. Lateral lunge, inhale, exhale. Keep the left knee bent, spin everything up towards the top of the mat and then plant your right hand down and circle your left arm up towards the sky, twisting open to the left. Make sure the bottom right hand is firmly rooted. Wild pose, if you wanna modify, your right knee comes down, kickstand your right shin, so right foot goes to the left. Left foot steps back and up. You can separate the knees, open the arms. Maybe you're to the outer edge of your right foot. So play with the different variations. Nice big back bend. Tuck your tailbone under. And then slowly make your way to plank, left hand down, left foot steps, steps back, take an inhale and plank. And then as you exhale, lower slow all the way down. Get go your fingertips, elbows up. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and then feel the back of the heart rising straight up towards the sky. The head and the chest come up after and then fold, roll all the way back down. Two more times, move at your own rhythm, your own pace. Really push your fingertips down so that we're strengthening through the hands and the wrists. One more time. Now slide your hands underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes under and push yourself up to plank inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Walk it out, bend one knee, bend the other knee. Sway your hips from side to side. Maybe take an inhale through the nose and an exhale through the mouth. Just moving in any way that feels good. Doing whatever you gotta do. When you're ready, send your left leg up towards the sky. Bend your knee and open your hip. Inhale. Exhale. Now straighten out your left leg. Square through your hips. Take an inhale. As you exhale, bring your left knee towards your left elbow, maybe even higher. Lean forward, forward, forward. And then inhale. Take the left leg straight back and up. Three-legged down dog. As you exhale, cross it under to the right elbow. Lean forward. Take the left leg up to the sky, inhale. As you exhale, step the left foot down in between the thumbs. Standing splits, right leg up to the sky. Let the head drop down, it's a forward fold. Take an inhale. As you exhale, right foot down about hip width distance from the left. Halfway lift, take an inhale. Passive forward fold as you exhale, let the upper body hang down on top of the legs. Again, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Now bend your knees and let's come all the way down towards a little squat. Maybe use your hands, maybe not. Get your sitting bones down on towards the floor and then bring your feet out in front of you. Keep your knees bent, hold on to your shins and lengthen your spine as much as you can. And then keep that length in your spine and reach your arms forward. Now lift your arms straight up to the sky, inhale. And then as you exhale, bring your hands over to the right. Twisting, twisting, twisting to the right, the arms will just hover. And then take the arms up towards the sky, lift your chest up, and then twist over to the left. Twist, twist, twist. Okay, let's progress this. Arms up. Now lift your heels up and rest just your tippy toes down on towards the floor, inhale. As you exhale, twist to the right. Inhale up, exhale to the left. 
Inhale up, you can stay here or let's lift the feet up, coming into Navasana, inhale. As you exhale, twist over towards the right. Arms will just hover, but really try to twist, twist, twist. Inhale, arms up, balancing on the sitting bones. And then exhale, twist over to the left. Arms all the way up, inhale. Let's find low boat as you exhale. So arms will go forward, legs will go forward. Get your low back on the mat. Keep your chin into your chest. Your back is round. And then reach your arms back behind you, hollow body. Take an inhale, reach, reach, reach. And then as you exhale, let everything come down. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Ooh, let all that intensity just soften and release. And then bring your knees in towards your shoulders, your armpits. So knees are wide. Catch a hold of your shins. Take an inhale. Take an exhale. Keeping the knees wide, the feet wide, take them forward and down flat down onto the mat. Open the arms wide, inhale. As you exhale, knees will go to the right. Roll to the outer edge of your right foot, the inner arc of your left foot. Anchor your left shoulder down. Pick your right foot up and hook it on the top of your left thigh. Tuck your tailbone under and get a nice stretch through your left hip flexor and quad. keeping the hook of right foot on top of left thigh, swing your legs in through the center, and then drop your right foot all the way over to the left. You roll to the outer edge of your left foot, your left thigh is down, right knee is pointing up towards the sky. So we're in a figure four twist. You can stay here, you can take your left hand and catch a hold of your right shin, your right ankle, and maybe you step your right foot a little bit closer in. You can stay there, you can bring your right hand towards the inner right thigh and start to draw the right thigh forward. Deeper stretch for right glutes, outer hip. Let's take another breath. Take the right arm back open wide, bring the legs through the center, keep the figure four shape, thread the needle, pick the left foot up, interlace the hands to catch a hold of left shin or back of the left thigh. Right arm is thread in through that little hole that you've created with your right leg. Left arm is out to the side and then the arms clasp together. And then slide the right leg off of the left. One hand on each shin, separate the knees wide, take an inhale, full exhale. Keep the knees wide, the feet wide, take the feet forward and down, flat onto the mat, open the arms out to the sides, drop the knees over to the left. Anchor your right shoulder down, pick your left foot up and hook it on the top of your right thigh. Use the weight of the leg to bring the right knee closer down and then tuck your tailbone under so that you're getting a nice stretch through your right hip flexor and quad. Also helping to sort of take this out of the low back a little bit. And then keeping the hook of the leg, swing the right knee back up towards the sky, roll to the outer edge of the right foot, drop the left foot over to the right, and you can turn your head over to the left, so we're including the neck in this twist. Your left knee is pointing straight up to the sky. You can stay as you are, or your right hand can reach for your left ankle, your left shin. You might step or kind of drag the foot a little bit closer in. And it might be nice just to hold on to the shin and stay there. Or you can play with right hand to the inner left thigh, taking the leg a little bit further forward, knee further forward. Giving yourself a little adjustment. One more breath.
Right arm will go back out wide, swing the legs back in through the center, thread the needle, pick your right foot up, interlace your hands to the back of your right thigh or your right shin, whatever works. Your right arm is out to the side, your left arm is in through this little hole that you've created with your legs. And then slowly slide your left shin off your right thigh, catch a hold of your shin, separate the knees, lift the feet, and then hold on to either your shins, your ankles, the feet, maybe inner or outer foot for happy baby. Let's rock a little side to side, massaging out the back body. and then bring your spine towards the center and try to get your shoulders and your low back a little bit closer down. Take an inhale, take an exhale. Release your feet, bring your knees together, wrap your arms all the way around your legs, give yourself a nice big hug and a nice big squeeze, thanking yourself for your practice. And then release your arms and release your legs and let's take just a minute or two down on our back. Let's use the floor to fully soften down into. As we let the body be supported by the stability below us, notice how your body feels after that movement and flow. Noticing how just a little bit of time here on the mat has shifted and changed what you're feeling, what you're experiencing within. We always think that our yoga practice needs to be a specific amount of time, but our yoga practice could be just a couple deep breath here and there, maybe a couple forward folds or a down dog. Our yoga practice is anything that brings us back to ourself, back to our body, and helps to regulate our nervous system after we encounter things that maybe cause us stress or fear or anxiety. So thank yourself for making your way onto your mat, for taking this time for you to come back to yourself, to come back to your natural state. And I thank you so much for joining me for this practice. Namaste.